as you can see on my tweet right there these are the four mechanic changes that i personally could see benefiting mk11 tremendously and i was trying to get my point across that i wasn't trying to bash the game i only want the game to be better number one i should have put five but yeah number one buff and tires Don't even make jumpings weaker, just literally buff and tires. I'm tired of seeing people just be able to jump in all day because they know if they get anti-air, they'll just break or they just know their jump kick's gonna just stuff your anti every time and you can't do it shit besides hold it or flaws block it. Number two, remove pushback on all faded blows. I'm tired of seeing people just just get their ass beat and get fatal blow and then just throw it out because they know if it's if they're wrong it's gonna have mad pushback their character might not even be able to punish it a lot of characters sometimes struggle to punish certain people's fatal blows and shit if you're wrong you get it back in like 15 seconds you get your fatal blow back you do the shit again if it hits 30 percent but i'll get back to this in a second because i got a damn match and i forgot to execute i another change i wanted was the removal of flaws blocking during hit stun, aka flaws block on hit. <clears throat> I feel like that mechanic is a great addition to the game, but when used in this way, it's it's very it's very scrubby. I feel like when you land an attack on an opponent and you gain hit advantage, you should not have to constantly worry about getting flawless block up to and get launched for full combo because all you wanted to do was jail your plus frames. Every fighting game in the world, even every fighting game previous to MK11 that NRS Bay did not have a mechanic that literally bodied you for trying to jail somebody. You literally get bodied for trying to jail on hit. And another mechanic I wanted changed I don't want mechanics removed. I want mechanics tweaked and changed. You feel me? I don't think NRS can just blatantly remove a mechanic that they incorporate into the game, you know. And if they probably can, they just they're just not going to. So it's better to ask for changes rather than actual removals of mechanics like that makes no sense. I want them to remove regenerating meter. I feel like it makes no sense for you to just sit there and be building defensive and offensive bar. If they're gonna, if they're not gonna at least change that, at least make it slower. Like you shouldn't, like you get your bar back way too fast, bro. Like you should earn your meter. Every every fighting game in the world, people are earning their meter. It actually that shows the skill gap between a scrub and a good player is when you constantly see people doing the little things to to gain bar, like whiffing specials during their combos to uh, build a little extra meter. You know what I'm saying? Or ending a around with a special just because they know it'll build them a little more bar you feel me but if they're gonna change if they're not gonna remove regenerating meter um i feel like they should at least remove regenerating meter on offensive meter defensive meter you should they could probably leave that alone but at least offensive bar say you take away regenerating meter on your offensive bar it would make it so people can't just up three and up two or you, you don't have to guess on them up three and up twoing and rolling all at the same time you just have to basically guess them rolling and like waking up buttons you don't have to worry about up three or up two um i feel like re removing regenerating meter would solve a lot of people's gripes with the wake up system you know what i'm saying you have to guess like five different wake ups on knockdown which almost favors the opponent when they get knocked down because you have to guess like say i have one percent of health and i knock my opponent down i'm just like damn bro i can't even afford to get hit with an up three i can't afford but at the same time if you try to bait the up three and walk back, they wake up and, you know, press buttons. And it's just like, yeah, bro. It's good to have defensive options in the game, but it shouldn't be so heavy to the point where you feel like you're guessing when you when you should be the one applying the pressure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, buffing anti-airs, removing pushback on all fatal blows, removing flaws blocking during hit stun, and removing regenerating meter are some of the changes I feel like would fucking make this game amazing, especially buffing anti-airs, bro. People could at least just not jump like crazy and have to actually sit there and play neutral with you and have to be a good player. People play with no brain in this game because anti-airs suck and breakaway exists. Fatal blow exists. You, you literally get your ass beat down to 30%. You get fatal blow. Boom. Now you have this button that I'm constantly scared of 
because next touch I'm basically dead. The moment you have fatal blow, if you get your opponent down at least 40% health, you're guaranteed next touch to win. Breakaway makes the game scrubby because you basically know, oh, I have two bars to break away. Any touch, I'm going to just break. I can play like an idiot right here because I have the the meter to afford to play dumb. Like I feel like that's that's just whack. You shouldn't you shouldn't feel comfortable playing like an idiot, you know what I'm saying? You should always feel like you want to play smart for the most part. You don't got to make it like brain dead antires where it's so easy to antire, but at least make it so if somebody's on point and they're waiting for a jump in and I see you jump in on me, I don't have to worry about getting stuffed ever. And at least give me one antire, make everybody's down to like upper body invincible or some shit like like two H's on Dragon Ball. Another change I would have added on that list would probably be removing the pushback on down twos on block. There's no reason why a down two on block should reset neutral. Like I shouldn't block your down two and get pushed back like 20 feet. And now I'm just like, wow, like you either try to down two KB me or you try to tech throw and you were wrong. And now because I blocked it, I'm like 20 feet away from you and I have to like, what? That makes no sense, bro. Down twos are punishable in Injustice. They're punishable in MK9, MKX, like all that shit, bro. Like, bro, bring, come on, man. Bring that shit back. Take away the pushback. Let me punish people for for making a mistake. It rewards people for making mistakes. I don't like that. But honestly, these four mechanics are or at least those five things that I the extra thing I just mentioned with down twos will make this game fucking amazing. I feel like the game's in a pretty good state. I only talked about mechanic changes. I didn't even talk about like slot consumptions. I feel like a lot of people's a lot of characters' slots could change. In terms of like, you know what I'm saying, Cetron shouldn't be able to equip, teleport, tornado, and earthquake all in one setup. Some of those moves should be two slots so that she can't just combine them all and she's just this busted ass character now. Same with Jackie, and she they should make some of her shit either two slots or conflict. The fact that she can have grenade launcher, amp shot, leap, all in the same setup is literally it makes no sense. She was already top tier before customs. Now she can put together basically all of her kits in one. Meanwhile, Nightwolf's Tomahawk is two slots, and they can break the moment they get launched by it. Like, why is Nightwolf's Tomahawk launcher two slots while Jackie's Leap, Amp Shot, and Grenade Launcher are all one slot? And she was already top tier to begin with. You know what I'm saying? That makes no sense. Top tier shouldn't get even more broke, and bottom tier shouldn't, like, remain the same. That makes no sense to me, like customs was meant to help the lower tiers they made them more fun but they're still low tier the top tiers are still top tier they're, they're probably even more top tier now than they ever were before so i don't know that that part could change but literally just the mechanic changes are on my mind right now i don't i don't really care for combat pack 3 i don't care about any dlc i literally just want some changes to the game itself people put endless hours into this game i feel like you know it's this isn't asking for changes isn't being ungrateful you know, people like to throw in, oh, they just added customs. What more do you want? Oh, you're ungrateful. Like, you know, stop bitching. This isn't bitching. This is not, this is not complaining. This is literally just wanting your game to be better, and that is it. It's not like I'm saying, oh, my God, remove Fatal Blow, remove Breakaway, move Wake Ups. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Remove Flaws Block. Like, I'm, I'm asking for just simple changes that would make everybody honestly enjoy the game more. People get, uh, get it mis misconstrued, like, from this is constructive criticism versus bitching you know what i'm saying bitching that's whack people who suck certain people who suck just want changes because they suck i want these changes because i just want the game to be better it's it, i guess as a developer it's very hard to differentiate people's opinions from the ones that are actually good from the ones who are just people who suck you know what i'm saying so i get it from a de developer's perspective they'd just rather not change the game at all because if they change the game they don't know if they're making it better or worse but I feel like these changes I put out are for the better. And if they do this, bro, I promise you this game will be sick. Imagine somebody jumping at you all game and you anti them all game and you win. Imagine somebody playing like ass and they break away and now their meter doesn't come back. Now they have to play smart for the rest of the round or the rest of the match because their meter just doesn't come back. Imagine, jail imagine poking somebody on hit and the moment you go into a normal to jail, your hit advantage, you don't get launched. Doesn't that sound like a perfect world, a perfect nether realm game? Where if you're the better player, you win every time. Uh, those are just some minor, some minor things that were on my mind, and I've been biting my tongue on wanting to uh, tweet about changes or ask for changes or even give my opinion because people love to throw out that bitching word, or complaining word, or ungrateful word. Or, but yeah, these are like I said, these are just the four changes that I wanted for the game, and uh, I just threw my opinion out there. 
none of them are probably going to get addressed. We're probably not going to see any of these changes, but it was nice to at least air, air my opinion out there. Yeah.